Tara here and I am back with another recipe for you. Tonight I am going to show you how to make a guilt-free banana bread. So we are coming into the holiday season and a lot of times uh, baked bread is kind of a nice little treat to bring along to a party or if you're hosting a party and you're having people over, this is a nice way to do a higher protein guilt-free uh, sweet bread. So let's get started. This is a very simple recipe to prep, um, but you will need to allow anytime you bake a bread because of the thickness of it, it takes about 45 to 60 minutes in the oven. So do plan ahead a little bit with that. But very simple, what I've got already started, looks a little nasty, but I've got two ripe bananas in a bowl. Um, what I did, because I don't usually have ripe bananas laying around, you may not either. Um, if you notice some of your bananas are starting to get brown where you're not gonna like them anymore, go ahead, throw them in the freezer and they will blacken in the freezer, but they're still usable. So that's what I did. I had a couple bananas this week that were, you know, past due, threw them in the freezer. So I took them out, I let them thaw, and that's why they're kind of watery looking in my bowl, but it works. So two whole ripe bananas, so they're gonna be nice and mushed up and ready to go. What I'm gonna use for this recipe is the banana cream pie by MTS Way. Go to tigerfitness.com, use my link, we'll have that in the description box, you can go ahead and buy yours. I'm gonna use a half cup of that. If you guys don't have this and maybe you have the vanilla, you could use that as well. The mashed banana in itself is gonna give this a nice banana flavor. So feel free if you need to, to substitute. That's not a deal breaker with this recipe. Um, the next thing I'm gonna use is one full cup of unsweetened almond milk. Go ahead, use whatever milk you like. And add that right in there. The beauty of this recipe is you just throw it all in a bowl, mix it up, and you're good to go. All right, next thing I'm going to add are three egg whites. I already have cracked my eggs. Um, three large eggs or about a half cup for your egg whites, and that's all you need. Next up is baking powder. Um, we are going to add one half teaspoon of baking powder. This is crucial. You guys need to have this in your baked goods or else the bread is not going to rise. So make sure you get that nice and leveled out and you get the accurate amount in there. That's crucial. So one half teaspoon. And don't worry, we'll have all the ingredients and directions listed below for you guys. So you're not panicking to write this all down. For a sweetener, this is really optional for you guys. Play around with this depending on what sweetener you like, how sweet you like it. I know sometimes people make fun of how much Splenda I use, but hey, um, I don't really care. So I'm gonna use a fourth cup of this, but feel free. You could sub honey, you could use agave nectar, you could use maple syrup if you want. You could use sugar, doesn't really matter. Whatever kind of sweetener you want, add that in there. All right, what do we have next? Next I'm gonna add some of this vanilla bean paste. Um, I would recommend using vanilla extract if you have that around at home. I actually don't, so I'm subbing and I'm gonna use this vanilla bean paste. And I'm gonna add a table, um, a teaspoon of that. So I've got a half teaspoon here. I'm just gonna measure this out. So one teaspoon, and if you have vanilla extract, that works perfect. If you don't have any vanilla whatsoever, it's gonna be all right. You can use this recipe without the vanilla. It just, vanilla is a nice staple to have on hand for any of your baking recipes. It really helps bring out all the flavors of the recipe. Okay. I am now going to add some coconut flour. I'm going to add three tablespoons of this coconut flour. I like using coconut flour in baking. It's truly just ground up organic coconut. Gives it a nice flavor, um, adds a little bit of fiber to your recipe. Just a couple grams of fat, but not much. So three tablespoons of this. If you don't have coconut flour, you could sub out with another flour if you want. Um, I really do keep the organic coconut flour on hand because like I said it really does it gives it a different flavor in baking than if you were to use a wheat flour or oat flour so three full tablespoons of that I am gonna go ahead and mix this all up now so I ended up grabbing a wire whisk to mix this up and that mixed it up really nicely because you're using mashed banana, it is gonna stay just a little bit lumpy, but that's okay, because it'll bake fine. I'm gonna stick my finger in there. Do a little taste test to make sure it's sweet enough, and it is, it's nice and sweet, and a very nice, strong banana flavor, so it's right on point. All right, so now that I have that mixed in, 
this is totally up to you guys. You could add walnuts, you could add coconut, you could add chocolate chips, whatever you like. I have measured out about 17 grams of pecans to be exact, or pecans, however you people say it. Um, and one tablespoon, believe it or not, that is one tablespoon weighed out of mini chocolate chips. That's freaking titties right there, isn't it? That's a good portion. So I'm not going overboard where it's gonna throw the fat through the roof on my macros. Just a nice little handful of each. I'm gonna toss those in there just to give it a little something else. And I'm just gonna fold that right into my batter. Perfect, okay. So you are gonna need a loaf pan for your bread. Or if you don't have a loaf pan, what you can do is make it into little muffins, throw it in some little cupcake liners and you're good to go. So I've already sprayed my loaf pan and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump all this delicious batter in here. And I usually like to use a spatula to make sure I get everything out of my bowl. So what you're gonna do is have your oven preheated at 325 degrees. And like I said, you're gonna wanna cook this for about 45 to 60 minutes. It's just gonna depend on your oven. What you're gonna wanna do is insert a toothpick in the middle to make sure it's cooked all the way before it's done. That's how it looks. I'm gonna pop that beauty in the oven and I will see you soon. All right guys, so my bread took 55 minutes in the oven at 325 and here's how delicious it turned out. It smells so good right now. It smells just like banana and chocolate. And what I did was I took a toothpick and I stuck it right down the center to make sure that the toothpick came out clean. And that's when you know that your bread is done. Um, this recipe was super simple, um, very healthy and macro friendly, and you can whip it up in a GIF. So I think you guys should give this a try. If this looks good to you, please, like it and head over to my um, YouTube site if you don't already subscribe. If you're looking for other recipes that adhere to flexible dieting principles, check out my Instagram as well, KL Corey. I have a lot of other good meal ideas posted there. So hope you guys are finding these videos helpful and thanks for your support.